Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. And uh, let's crack into another one. Oh, uh, yeah. TNT told me you got something for me Yo. today. What you got, man? I do have something for you, Jonas. Now, we usually talk about current events and stuff, but I feel like this would be a good time to just talk about how we doing in life, you know? We, we often just talk about what's going on with us. And I had an occurrence happen to me that uh, that I feel might be relevant to bring up. Okay. I oh, feel, man. I feel like I'm kind of blindsiding you with this, but before we started recording today, we did have a discussion about what type of topics we could bring to the podcast. And you assured me that if I'd had a certain event happen to me, that it was perfectly fine to bring it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to bring it. Oh, man. Okay. All right, Jonas. Uh, I'm not going to belabor this for too long because people at home are wondering, but you had a birthday just recently. Happy birthday, by the way. And uh, we had a little excursion where we went out on a party boat. Uh-huh. I'm not going to name any names. Don't worry. You're safe. Okay. Um, I was the only black person on this boat. Okay. Generally not an issue for me. I've had yeah. a lot of white friends, you know, in the past, Jonas. It's usually not an not an issue. And uh yeah. I've had some I've had some some reservations about joining you and your friend groups in the past because of some things that I thought might have just indicated some, you know, some issues that might have been racially driven. Okay. But on this occurrence, Jonas, it was left without question. When an individual came up to me, it was uh, right after, I believe, uh, a Taylor Swift song had played. And I did the usual thing where I make the wide eyes like, what the heck are all you guys singing this Taylor Swift song for? But really, I'm just joking around because I know the chorus too. Right, 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 right. Okay. Approaches me and asks me, I'm sure we're about a minute and a half into the video, so I feel comfortable saying it now. Approaches me and asks me and says, hey, Dynamite. How are you feeling about hanging out with all these white people? And I said, it's fine. I mean, look at who I'm here with. The reason I'm here is because because the homie's here. And he's like, okay, well, I'd like to ask you one more thing is, would you rather hang out with us, with us white people, or would you rather hang out with the niggers? Wait, what? Yeah. I'm not, what? Are you dead serious? I'm fucking serious. Smile like on his, hard, hard R and everything. Yes, smile on his fucking face, Jonas. So naturally, I couldn't even look him in the eye, Jonas. I'm thinking of like, how do I even handle this? We're out at sea, you know. We're out <laughs> at sea. We were. Right, we were, right, right. We right, were right. in international waters. No, we were. We were, we're on a boat. I'm the only black person there. Do I make a scene? Do I use the knife that I put in my back pocket to shank this motherfucker? Or do I just correct him and then don't bring it up? Okay. Well, I chose the latter. I chose to correct him and don't bring it up. Now, mind you, Jonas, when I, when I express to this individual that I don't know why you would feel comfortable coming up to me speaking with that type of language when I don't even use that type of language. Okay. When, when have you ever heard me say some shit like that? Very seldom. Even I mean, I barely hear you say the A, let alone the hard R. Exactly. Right. Like, frankly, like, I don't use that. I don't use that nomenclature on the channel. I don't use it in my everyday life, but it doesn't say that I would never use it. But regardless, I expressed to him is that I've known you for damn near 20 years of my life and that you've never gotten out of pocket like that. And thus you have earned my respect, Jonas. When I see you, honestly, Jonas, I see a black person. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't, right. I don't know. Wait, uh, hold on. I don't uh, want to deter from your story, but absolutely. we'll circle back to that. Absolutely. Okay. But, but jokes aside, the individual obviously intoxicated, um, May I not have meant much, but uh, he did express, express to me after I made him feel like I, he was not going to be attacked at that moment. Um, he expressed to me that he grew up in a, in, a, in a family that was a little bit racist. And I said, yeah, I can tell. And uh, he expressed to me is that he, he didn't know if I was one of the, the ones that would accept him saying that word or not. And then I told him, brother, it's, it's cool just don't ever say some shit like that to me again he expressed to me is like I didn't know if you were one of the ones who was religious or not the cleanup was messier than saying the fucking word to me 
Oh my god! So naturally, so instead of just being like, "Oh my bad," nah, it, tried it, to like, bro, it kept going and it got more and more offensive as it went along. But me and my everlasting patience and my stoic nature. I just decided to just go ahead and let it slide. Now, the real question was, was I going to bring this up to you? Because when it comes down to it, these are your friends, quote unquote. These is, this is your friend group. This individual is one of the titans in your friend group. One of the ones who people probably wouldn't expect this individual to necessarily go like, there. Like, I didn't expect it. Like, as you are talking about this, I literally have no idea who you're talking about. Because no, n this that type of stuff has never come up. Granted, a lot of the times I'm playing volleyball, I'm not, like, doing other things. But that is I've n that hasn't ever come up, ever. So I literally have no idea who you're talking about. Don't worry. I'll let you know after the, after the video. I'll give you names. Right. I don't now, know for sure. Now, now that we've gotten that off and out, I just have to express to you is that I didn't think it would affect me. I really didn't. Right. I really did. Well, I mean, no, no. I mean, like I, I'm honestly surprised. I mean, I appreciate that you didn't cause, like didn't cause a scene on the boat. Like <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I, yeah. but I appreciate, I would have rather you came to me and said, Hey, what the hell was going on with your friend? And I could have addressed it too. You I, know I, I, look, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, subject myself to consulting the white person well, no, to, I handle, mean, to handle well, the business of well, me feeling uh, me feeling uh, well right and I don't mean it I guess I, I get, yeah exactly it's, it, yeah. it's I had the same thought process right, 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 right? Yeah. I'm not gonna be like I'm gonna run to my white I didn't, friend I didn't and he's to, gonna like, give you a stern talk I need to. to handle it for you nah, but like I, fam, I, I, yeah. I had it the question was was I gonna bring it up to you but I wanna get to the like I'm an adult Right. I'm an adult male. I've dealt with racism before, and I thought I was stronger than what I was. All I have to say is that that night you asked me, was I going out? Obviously, I said no. Well, right. I was, well, still, that, yeah. I was still mulling it over. That individual even expressed to me that they weren't going to go. But, m like, my social meter dipped to zero. I was like, I don't know if I should hang out with anybody. Like I'm, right, yeah, I was, yeah. on, I was on, I was on this idea of like somebody asked me, it's like, oh, maybe we could take a picture sometime. I'm like, are you trying to take a picture of me because I'm black? <laughs> like, like I'm, like, this is where my mind goes after racism, and I'm, right, right, I'm right, just right. thinking like, I'm like, do I tell, do I tell Jonas, and like, am I gonna be like, oh, Jonas, I don't know if you need to cut this person out of your fucking friend group. I don't know. It's like, it's not. That's not. It's so much. So much. And it's all because I know that this one person doesn't like me because of the color of my skin. The motherfucker had the audacity to tell me, look, dude, I don't care who you know you like or who you want to date in the group. I don't fucking shit. I don't need your permission on who to date in the group. I don't need that. Jonas, you got to take over because I just spilled beverage. Oh my goodness! Take over. Say well, something, say something insightful. I mean, I mean, I think the first thing I want to do is apologize you for them know being I so didn't ignorant. Do anything wrong. Yeah, but you I know did nothing wrong. Even if I didn't, like, I don't like when people of my race are racist. So, I yeah, <laughs> funny enough. So, so like, I, uh, it makes me feel bad that people do that in general let alone to my homie that i've known since i was a teenager? a teenager yeah like it it's yeah it's a uh yeah look all, all i want to say is that a lot of the times when you would invite me out to these to these things and when i when i show some just like a little bit of reservation about going out it like these things cross to my it's head. It's not only because you don't want to be social. No. Is what you're saying. It's because I picked up things and I just want to say is that the things that I was picking up and I thought that maybe I was just being paranoid and you necessarily gave me the indication that you thought I was being paranoid, but I could tell you was thinking I was like, he's just being a little paranoid. When? Brother, 
The what? things I picked up on, you know, I mean, like we, I'm not going to... No, 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 I mean, no, I mean, when did I make you feel like you were being paranoid? That's All what right, I so the first time I went out with your group, there was the one time where I told you that I was sitting at a table, everybody's friends at this table because you all know each other from volleyball, and the young lady says, hey, dude, where's my purse? And it's just me and the dude sitting there. She's like, all right, just keep an eye on my purse. I'm like... Your purse has been sitting here all night. Now that I'm sitting here at the table, all of a sudden it's, where's my purse? And now you can't look me in the eye. Very funny. And then there was the next time where one of the individuals felt so comfortable because he had been in the streets of Mississippi or Louisiana or whatever the fuck. He was like, look, brother, I want to tell you right now is that I think you are real. And I was like, hold up. What are you trying? He's like, I'm just going to say it. I think you are real. And I was like, I appreciate it if you didn't say that. I appreciate it if you didn't say that. We was towing the line of him saying the N-word to me right there, which is this fucking insane to me. Why would you say some shit like that to me? It's not like I walk around saying it. I just don't understand it. It's the no, one no. thing that I ask a human being not to say with no verbal that's needed to even convey that information to you. Everybody knows don't say nigga around a black person. It's not that fucking hard. And you think that it's harmless, but honestly, it puts us on fucking edge. Like, I'm on fucking edge right now. Right, right. No, man, I understand. But uh, honestly, I don't want you to change anything about your daily lifestyle. I will tell you the individual's name. You can confront them if you feel the need to do so, but don't do it on my behalf. Do it only because you feel like you need some sort of retribution. Right, right. I'll never tell you not to gain that. But yeah, yeah. I think I'm good from now on. Understandable, man. And I'm sorry, man. You didn't do anything. Wrong. I know, but like, I still put you in that situation. Brother, it was your birthday party. I was going to show up regardless. Well, right. But like, but I think, I mean, I, if I would have known, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Look, man, I just never believed that it was truthful, but I mean, look, Texas is living up to Texas as, as it's going to be, you know? So I feel like I'm a little to blame because like, like the a reputation is there for a reason. Um, and that's crazy. I feel like I'm blaming myself. Look at that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I, I thought I thought I was stronger, but I can I can hundred percent say is that me with my ability to cope on the level it is a person with less ability is only going to process that experience in a worse way, and it only leads to division. Jonas, I consider you a brother. I consider you family. Right and. And, and you know what? I, I love you with all of my heart, man. If you passed away, I would cry. When you get married, I'm going to be at your wedding. When you die, I'm going to be at your funeral. Hopefully, you are older than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, so I'm not going to let the experiences of somebody who just has the same shade of skin as you have an effect on the way I feel about you or anybody else I ever meet. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, and right. I just right. hope that other people can take that same sentiment and apply it to their lives. No, man. Um, I have to say I'm, I'm pretty dumbfounded, to be honest. Or maybe awe, shock. I don't know. I wasn't even going to bring it up to you, man. Killer King made me do it. He I mean. Like, you better tell him. He needs to know about the type of people he's hanging out with. Uh, I, I agree a thousand percent. So next yeah. time I talk to Killer King, I'll have to tell him thank you for, <laughs> for convincing you to bring up the awareness because I agree. <laughs> Um, I mean, I mean, well, cause if you think about it, man, that, I mean, that happened with a girl I was seeing and then I like, you remember? I do remember. Yeah. Like, so. Wow. That's, yeah, man. Yeah. Look, look at what being black gets you, Jonas. <laughs> I, I don't want you to be like, oh no, I have a black friend. I have to be a social justice warrior. You don't have to do that. <laughs> if I see you at a Black Lives Matter march, I'm going to smack you because I'm not going to a Black Lives <laughs> Matter march. If you're doing more for the black community than I am. Yeah, that's fricked up, Jonas. You're going to make me, the mothership is seriously going to call me up. The black mothership <laughs> is going to call me up and they're going to revoke my pass. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, no. I, feel I got a season pass to Negro land and I need to keep that. <laughs> to keep it. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Anyway, man, I'm sorry that that, that episode got we usually fun in games. Nah, I it. will have to say that is not what I expected you to bring up, but I'm glad that you did. 
Uh, so uh, anytime I feel that someone that I care about has been uh, wronged, I oh definitely want to know about it and then and then have to like figure that out from there. So oh my god, this nigga trying to make me cry. <laughs> 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 Sorry, so, I see black when I look at you, Jonas. Anyway. And why, and why is, uh, back to that real quick. I know we're over time. But why, what does that even mean? I don't know I what. I don't that know means. what it means either. Oh, okay. It's just a joke. Okay. I know. Right. I know who you are. All right. I know who you, I got you. All right, man. Well, whew. All right. On a very special Moesha. On a very special Moesha. <laughs> that is all the time that we have for today's episode. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we have.